Hey there, folks, and network. A connection error has occurred because I uh, dared to pause the game, put the PS4 in uh, low power mode, and go to sleep. <laughs> so we will see if that affects anything. In our solo player mode, it should not. But we're doing uh, the mission, the demon of Mount Hie. We're making haste to Mount Hie to put a stop to Kelly's plans. Uh, we've cleared the immediate area and at this point are just trying to figure out where we're supposed to go and I imagine we're supposed to backtrack to a prior area and just move in a different direction but uh, massive disorientation is a big part of my issue with this uh, level right now so we've got Kadama sense and I've got a lightning uh, damage reducing thing, although until we run into another one of those uh, nasty fellers, I think it might be a better idea to well, you know, I don't want to go back to a shrine but already equipped. I don't want to go back to a shrine. Key plus two isn't terrible, actually. It's just, it's just a simple boost to something that's really important for my character. Um, now that will stick with what we're using. This takes us back to where we fought Lightning Guy. takes us back to I think where we fought um, an Amarita Yokai oh maybe not or maybe so came out of that you bear left I think you fight an Amarita Yokai in one of those spirit box things maybe this uh, this doesn't seem familiar. Maybe this is a fairly simple path that I've just completely missed every single time. I think it is. I think I just completely blanked on this. Which has me worried, actually, that... Oh, come on! He was way off in his aim. This is stupid. They just do their little... glowy tackle animation and... Oh, I should have used the elixir. Well, I don't have antidote in my quick menu, so... Oops. I guess we're just going to tough this out. But yeah, I guess I just completely blanked on a little path leading in this direction. But this is making me think earlier in the level we missed some stuff. I guess it's possible this is the very end of the level. Huh. I wasn't expecting it to come quite this soon. I really wasn't expecting the level to be almost over. But there he is, doing his evil crystal -y nonsense. Maybe I'll Oh. No, get up. Why don't I yell at him? I'm the only one who speaks English. I guess he speaks Japanese, which makes sense if he's been going around doing evil stuff in Japan all this time. So he's an evil, demonic British guy who wants Mitsunari to win, I guess. I guess her special power is she absorbs Amarita really good.
Why is it making you stronger? Well, I guess it's making you big. Oh, we have to fight this guy. We have to fight our friend who's been evil-fied. Yeah, but is that really going to help us in the long term? Who's going to make little side comments that I don't understand? Okay, well. Alright, so unexpectedly at what I'm assuming is the actual boss fight for the stage, because it's not just a... This guy's kind of... Pretty fast. Suggests that I should be using this to slow him down. If I can get it off. Ah, damn it. I mean, if dodging to the sides isn't fast enough to get away from his attacks, I guess I'm supposed to not focus on him so I can free run, but. I had heard through the grapevine that that boss was not one of the harder bosses. So I'm a little annoyed. I already know I've missed uh, Kadama. So I either backtrack or I'm gonna have to do parts of this level over again. Now, I think I'm just going to instinctively head back towards um, getting my key back. See the fox spirit around. If I just run away from you up this way, will you follow me? Probably not all the way to the boss chamber. Because this is the boss chamber again. Oh, I forgot to actually. I should have activated my um, damage. So, oh, shoot. My corpse is like right there. I am free running. I still can't get around his attacks. Okay. I obviously don't know how to fight this boss. This is probably exactly the wrong guardian spirit to have, too. I I mean, I saw those doors, and I, th I was like, this might be the boss door, but I thought I could actually see... Usually, like, you can't see anything on the other side of the doors. I thought I could actually kind of see something on the other side of the doors. So, no point in switching our guardian spirit unless I want to use a summoner candle. I got all the Amarita and spirit back and switch to something else, but I don't really know what this guy is going to be weak against. He's the white cat spirit is like a tiger spirit guy who's gone rogue but actually it would do me some good to clear this out because I wasn't intending to record a bunch of Neo today but I paused it overnight now I can use my PS4 for other stuff for example if I wanted to do Dynasty Warriors 9 or even Crazy Thought get going on this uh making characters for this Romance of Three Kingdoms thing that I promised such a long time ago I was going to do for the Surfall subscribers, or um, charity stream donators. I never got around to doing that. You need to do that before Zerfall's next charity stream, I suppose. And again, I forgot to... Um, Not the biggest damage in the history of the world or anything, but... I 
guess I'll go ahead and just drop just in case it helps. That's I just root up in a big way. I was trying to do this. This is the end of the level. What are these? These are. Yeah, build the cat guy barrier, whatever that means. Meanwhile, can we help our little white cat friend? He's hasn't been that useful in what he's been telling us, but he. Yeah, that's mystical stuff. Comes up in every anime. It would be nice if we could help our our little white spirit friend. If he doesn't have to be dead. But I guess he was already dead? I don't know what's going on with these guys. Can I talk to you? I haven't said a word to you in the whole game, have I? I wasn't crying. I hadn't actually responded in any way at all. Well, that's a real shame, that is. Well, I was a hell of a lot closer to finishing the chapter than I thought I was when I quit the other night, so. Wait, he had feathers? He wasn't a cat at all! Oh, no, it's a feather from. Her. Okay. Oh, I got you, so if she's destroyed, I have no more continues. Yeah, we won the game. You clearly defeated that guy who disappeared after threatening us with evil. Well, why are you leaving? Why don't you hang around with me and tell me what's going on? Why aren't I telling anything? I mean, I guess I'm not comfortable with my own Japanese. I'm just... Well, maybe the stage isn't over yet. Sure felt like it was over. Oh, it's a. We just it just went straight to cinematics. For some reason, instead of letting us uh, continue and then going into cinematics about what the boss's nature was, as normally happens, they decided to um, do their cinematic immediately, and then have us come to this scene where we can continue, because uh, this is the door we came in, and it is not going to let me go back and look for the Kadama I missed. Although that would be super handy. Oh, man. If we could go through the stage looking for Kadama with all the enemies disabled, that would be nice. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to sound anywhere near as dorky as I just sounded. That would be nice. Oh, that the cat guy's name. Okay, thanks for straightening that out. I think I've already maxed out as many of the slow the enemy down talismans as I'm allowed to have at this point, but I want to check because that thing saved my life. Like, seriously, that was that was what allowed me to win that fight. For sure. I only got one skill point left, so there's no way I would be able to level it up anyway, but I'm thinking I've already got it leveled up as far as I can. Another level of this wouldn't be too bad, actually, because I could I could probably be using them more than I am. Uh, and I did off-screen level up my protection talisman, which is why I'm allowed to have two. And uh, even. 
destroy the old guardian spirit talisman. Enemy power, sloth talisman reduces enemy movement speed greatly. No. So the next, I got to get more Onmyo magic points, which I might be able to get from items that dropped in this chapter. I got to get more of those, man, because they saved my life. I've only got one point. Oh, never mind. It is blocked out. I need to clear another mission first. So the thing with them is you have to clear a lot of late plot missions. Like, I got to get, like, mastery of Onmyo magic and whatever before I can even unlock another level of it because it starts at Adept instead of starting at Novice and moving on to Adept. But uh, it just won't take that many skill points for... Like, it only took me two. So it only takes nine skill points to max the skill, whereas a lot of these it'll take... Uh, this one, Purging Talisman, removes all status effects from an enemy, whether positive or negative. For whatever reason you wanted to master this one, it's going to cost you 15. This is only going to cost you 9. Alright, let's talk to Fuku, our lovely lady friend, who... I, why can't we transform into her? It's giving us all the... It, it gave us female characters like... Um, the fact that it gave you the ability to transform into bla into the blacksmith suggested they were trying to think of characters to transform into even though they're not seen in combat. So I'm kind of a little curious as to why Fuku, not to mention this old guy, aren't people you can transform into. Maybe there is a Fuku transformation I'm just not aware of. The, the wiki when I was reading about transformations didn't seem to suggest there was. <laughs> Did he say he was going to kill him, or is he just going to, like, corrupt him into a yokai? I suppose it doesn't matter. Either of them are pretty bad. I have nothing to say to you about this or any other matter. For some reason. So there you go. We didn't get all the kadama. We didn't get all the kadama, but we got the job done. And it felt like it took a lot fewer videos than the ice mountain... Uh, the icy... Honoji mission did, although the icy Honoji mission also, we got all the Gadama. But I don't think, I think if you took out the video of me just looking for Gadama, it still felt like we finished the Mount Hiei a lot faster. I'm sorry, I let Kelly get away. There was nothing I could do. I'm trying to think, he sounded like Shokasugi to me. Uh, I'm sorry, I let Kelly get away. There was nothing I could do against that strange magic of his. If he is after Lo Yeyasu's life, we haven't a moment to waste. We must reach Lord Yeyasu before he does. On a different note, I feel a deep sense of unease. Perhaps I'm imagining things, but even my cat seems out of sorts. Well, your cat's upset because of Lord Necronomicon, or whatever his name is. Nekomata. Neko is cat in Japanese. Um, I know that. So, therefore, I declare myself king of the LPers. So here's the Amio Mage's hunting gear. I probably want to lock these down uh, so that I don't end up donating them when doing a mass donation for key or, or for uh, glory. Uh, Zeko. Oh, wow. Blanket on your name, man. Um, not Zeko. I'm thinking of Neko. Um, blanking on the name of one of my most faithful commenters. Zed, uh, da -da 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 -da, Zed Power. See, Zed Power always... Every time I see Zed Power in the comments, I'm always thinking for a minute that it's Zerfall because of the... Z <laughs> because not only does Zerfall's name start with a Z, but he also refers to Z as Zed. Zed Power was pointing out that um, turning in, I, turning in uh, your gear for glory is pretty wasteful because um, as long as you're submitting some glory to your clan, the weekly clan battles will give you all the glory that you need. And that is true. But you have to submit some glory to your clan. So Zed Power saying, just do a little bit of online, uh, just do a little bit of, uh, you know, random encounters online, and and you know people will, um, if you win those missions, you get glory, and then that gives you enough glory if you're in a small clan that you'll get glory from the weekly clan battles, and then you're okay. The thing is, I haven't done much of that, and when I have done, I didn't get that much glory out of it. So I'm still the glory I'm getting from donating items. Uh, particularly if I go back to a level just to grind, is what's giving me enough glory to have some glory in the pot. Essentially, if you put in a little glory to the clan battles, you can get a lot back. But if you don't put in any glory, you won't get anything back. And you have to do like I've done, which is pick a clan that doesn't have that many members. 
because I think your percent, like how high up you are in the clan influences what you get back. But no, when uh, just donating stuff in big piles, I don't want to give away anything that I don't know how to get back. Although getting anything back in this game just means fighting enemies until it randomly drops. So Hanzo feels a peaceful, uneasy feeling. We've now got two Twilight missions we can do. Although this one I've already done. Oh, we've got two, we've we've unlocked. I think I've done both of those Twilight missions. So I was seeing all these Twilight missions, but what is this? Proceed to the next region. Oh, you go on foot, do you? Well, we can do greater demon hunting. Apparently, a truly terrifying demon is running amok in the underworld. Such monstrous, po monstrous power. This may be one of the great demons spoken of in legend. If we stand by and do nothing, it may come to threaten our own world too. Sir Anjin, will you go to the underworld and eliminate this threat? The fight will not be easy, but I ask for your help. So this looks like it is a boss battle. Or it's just simply a boss battle. So, I want to put these blocks down on lockdown, and then I'll more carefully consider other items before I get into a place where, yeah, we're getting, we got a lot of locks to, to go through. You see, I got some burning oil jars from, uh, some of them got in storage. That's something I've been getting from, um clan battle, or for clan donations. So famed Amio locks will give us five Amio skill points. Young Amio locks will just give us one, and young ninja locks will give us one. But I am wondering if I go back and re-clear these levels, will I find more of these? If I were to learn skills, so I've got enough for more uh, sloth talismans, but we actually need to advance in the story more before I can use them. Although at this point, if I don't spend any more Amio magic points on anything else, I've got enough to carry around six of those sloth talismans so I can be using them all the freaking time but um, I don't believe that um, don't believe that uh, A, I will in the next few videos be able to advance all the way up to level 3 on this and B, that's using up a lot of my jutsu cost which is by, part of why eventually I would need to at the very least get one more level of this this costs a lot of skill points well, it costs five, but. So in addition to a mission, a mission from Fuku, we've got a side mission at Mount Hiei, which unfortunately I can't do the side mission and get the three Kadama that I missed. Although actually, Kadama, it only really affects the region that you're in, so it's not that huge of a thing. Because I'm done here. But, as I was going to do, if I couldn't blather and just talk my way towards a full-length video, which I've managed to do at this point, the Disappearing Ran Jatai, uh, I have, the Razmataz, I have, upon the um, advice of... Um, boy, I have a terrible name or memory for uh, YouTube usernames. And it's not that many people who've been watching this series and... I appreciate all the comments they've provided, but I keep uh, I keep being able to clearly imagine their uh, their portraits. Yeah, Apple Gong has been commenting, but he's not the one I'm thinking of. Clearly, see people's portraits in my head, but not actually remember their usernames. Darkcaster95 was um, the one who guided me towards this level, and this is a really handy level to use for grinding for Amorite. I watched a couple of episodes of Rift Tracks. 
<laughs> it was just last night. Uh, I started LPing late because I got caught up just watching rip tracks while not recording, and did um, what did I do? I'm just at, at this point you can you can call it video, folks. I'm just blathering. I did cyber. No wait, I might actually wrap ran round out by doing uh, this. But I did Cyber Tracker. I did um, probably. I guess I wasn't paying too much attention because I don't even remember what it was. It was the one where Kevin Murphy joked about getting involved in the Milo and Otis brand, and now I can't remember what movie that was. Just wasn't paying that much attention. What did I watch after Cyber Tracker? Huh. Well, anyway. And uh, nobody tells me what to do, which is Mary Jo Peel, uh, Bridget Nelson short, but. The missing catalog. Oh, it's Okatsu. So we have nothing but left but lots of late missions from the sexy ladies. It seems a secret scroll has been stolen from Mount Hiei by persons unknown. It may be too late, but there is still a chance. However small of retrieving it, will you investigate or will you make me do something? We're close to being ready to level up again. But we are not quite there. So I may do... I could do either one of these missions off screen and get enough to level up. Um, this will give a smithing text for Psyka Clan armor. This will give me... Other things. Let's proceed to the next region and then watch the cinematics and call it a video. Mototada <laughs> Why should we be listening to Lord Mototada? He's a jerk. Oh, no, this is Hanzo talking. I was about to say, why are we speaking Japanese? Oh, only Ninja know about your grandma's house, huh? Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house, Hanzo goes. Let's be friends, we'll do things together. We'll kill Edmund Kelly. Okay, well, the big plot that I was thinking we were going to see it wasn't that exciting here. <laughs> Though it's now really bothering me that I cannot remember what Rift Tracks I watched last night. Like, I wasn't... It's not like I was drinking. I mean, I don't have, like, blotto memory loss here. Oh, because there was two of them. I, wa <laughs> I got into a marathon session of grinding, and I watched uh, Cyber Tracker, Future uh, Force, and Future Zone, and then... Nobody tells me what to do, which is a short. So there you go. That's that's what you were waiting to hear about, right? My viewing habits. So the three souls gives you a woman's face visor. They saved some children who were testing their bravery in a cemetery outside town. I haven't come back. It might just be hiding as a joke, but they could have been kidnapped or taken by yokai. Would you mind going to look for them? Yeah. And the highest quality leather cord and Jonin's Kusarigama could be ours if we do the Yiga escape. Early reports say that many of Mitsunari's men lie in wait up ahead. There will be trouble if they find us. William, I suggest we take an ultimate route. Through this match, it should get us to Suruga sooner. Don't worry, I grew up around here. We won't have any problems crossing through Yiga. Well then why is it a mission, huh? If it's going to be so easy, why is it a mission? It's not going to be easy, folks. It's not going to be easy at all. And then again, maybe it'll be a really easy mission. Either way, folks, that's going to be it for this video. I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more of Let's Play Neo. Um, I'll get the rest of the Kadama from Mount Hiei off screen. Don't worry, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.